After years in development, Spore, the long-awaited next game from Will Wright and Maxis, releases on September 5th in Europe and September 7th in North America. But you may be wondering, what exactly is Spore? There is, after all, a whole lot to this game. Spore is a story of life on other planets, of how it comes to be and how it evolves. Eventually, you can explore a galaxy full of planetary systems, and each one can be populated with content created by Spore players from around the world. There are five distinct stages of Spore, covering different parts of a species' history, from the Cell Stage to the Space Age. And the decisions that you make in the very early stages of Spore can have significant implications later on in the game. In this opening video, we will begin with the Cell Stage, the very first stage of the game. Spore begins not on a planet, but in outer space, with a comet crashing down upon a newborn world. The comet carries bacteria, which becomes the first form of life on the planet. In Cell Stage, you are a tiny microscopic organism swimming in the primordial ooze, and you have two simple goals, eat and don't be eaten. In many ways, Cell Stage plays out like a beautiful arcade game. It's very simple to play, but it also has a large amount of depth. Eating gives you DNA points, which are sort of a currency that you spend in the cell editor to evolve by adding or removing parts to your organism. Spore has many different editors that allow you to create your own creatures, buildings, and vehicles, and the cell editor is the very first one that you encounter. The parts available to you vary depending on what you've scavenged. Let's imagine that a large cellular organism has devoured a smaller one. In its wake, it leaves special parts floating in the water. If you devour these parts, you can then use them in the cell editor. By adding parts, you can make your organism faster, or maybe give it spikes to prevent other creatures from eating it, or maybe give it the ability to electrocute any aggressors that get too close. The number of abilities and different combinations are huge, but the key thing to keep in mind is to evolve to adapt to your environment. Eating also has a secondary benefit. It makes your organism grow larger over time. The cell stage is by far the fastest stage in Spore. It's possible to play through the entire stage in about 20 minutes. Ironically, cell stage covers millions of years of evolution. So as you eat, your organism will grow in size. This can be fun, especially if you find yourself being chased by other organisms that want to eat you, and suddenly you expand in size and turn around to eat them. And eating has a third major impact in Spore. What you eat can help determine how the game will unfold. Carnivores tend to be much more aggressive, while herbivores are more pacifist, but each route will offer different special abilities later on in the game. The cell stage is visually remarkable, with a bright, colorful look. It's also beautiful in the way that it makes you feel like a tiny cell swimming in a vast, wondrous ocean. As you evolve, giant organisms that you see swimming in the background will turn into the tiny organisms that you later feed upon. And as you get further into cell stage, recognizable objects, such as seashells, will slowly come into focus. That's a sign your cellular organism has become so large that it's almost time to evolve a pair of legs and proceed out of the primordial ooze and onto land. Congratulations, you survived the eat or be eaten world of cellular life and made it through the very first stage of Spore. Next up is Creature Stage, which we will cover next week. So stay tuned to IGN for more on the evolving gameplay of Spore.